okay guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are actually new to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay so in today's video i'm going to show you how to use binance as a beginner trust me binance app is really easy to use and once you watch this video you're going to understand how to trade on binance and let's dive into today's video okay i don't want this video to be too long first of all the first things you need to know about binance is once you register on your binance once you register on binance and you download the mobile app for android or ios this is what it actually looks like okay so the first icon you're going to see here is your profile icon okay it's your profile icon and there is your home icon where you can see all assets and different kind of top trends new coins new things basically on Binance then the market section is where uh, where all uh, markets is all cryptocurrencies are located on okay so you can see different kind of cryptocurrency on I'm going to, I'm going to show you I'm going to show you the section and I'm going to explain a few things about it so the market section is we are going to see all types of cryptocurrency then this trade section is where you can actually trade this market okay then features features is um a way where you can earn more money you can earn more money by jumping into the trade into the market for a short period of time or a long period of time okay then this wallet is where all your coins are stored so that is your wallet where all coins are stored it can be your spot wallet it can be your features wallet it can be your margins wallet it can be any type of your wallet any type of wallet basically okay so now let's go into all these icons here so first of all let's start with the profile icon once you click on the profile icon this is what it looks like you're going to see all this you're going to see your level vip zero as you can see i'm vip zero and my account is not verified so if you want to verify your account you have to just come to verify click on verify and verify your account okay so basically this is just what your account looks like you click on payment method if you want to add payment you want to add a payment method so you can see there are different kind of things there are tax centers there are different finance, finance discount and a lot of things you can go ahead and just play around with all these but these are not necessary things for me so i'll just go back so on the market section this is where you can trade any market but before we talk about this market first of all let's go to the wallet okay so this is your wallet this is what your wallet looks like as you can see we have the different types of wallets we have the sports wallet we have the margin wallet we have the features wallet we have the p2p wallet we have the end wallet we have the pool wallet okay all these are different kinds of wallets so basically once you send with the basic wallet in which most people actually use in holding their cryptocurrency basically is the sports wallet okay so once you come to the sports wallet once you come to the sports wallet this is what the sports wallet actually looks like as you can see this is what the sports wallet looks like you have zero as you can see i have zero btc all your coins in cryptocurrency are calculated in btc okay so don't be worried if you if you see if you have usdt and all your coins here is showing btc or something that doesn't matter okay so if you want to get your link or your transfer link for someone to send you btc into your wallet you have to click on the deposit which means people someone is depositing money into your wallet okay so then you're just going to go ahead through you're just going to look through this coin list this coin list is where all coins are located since i want to send btc i'll just click on look for btc you can go to you okay you can go to you but instead of me going to you you can also search you can search for usdt okay when you search for usdt it's going to show you click on usdt then it's going to show you all this so it depends on the wallet you are sending from if the wallet you are sending from enables E enables erc erc20 then you click on the erc20 if it enables the 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 bep the bep20 wallet you click on the network just click on click on the network then if it's depending on the network if it's tron network you click on tron network okay so it depends on the 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 the, the, the wallet you are sending from so if i'm sending from i don't know i don't know the different kind of wallet different kind of wallet with the kind of coins they select on mxc mxc also is a similar application just like binance okay so you can actually trade cryptocurrencies too on that app so once you have it you just copy your link here and go to mxc then send send usdt to this account but i'm not sending any usdt to this account okay so i'll go back and go back so that's it guys on how you can deposit you can deposit the coin and if you want to withdraw it's actually easy for you to withdraw let me say i want to still withdraw ada ada is the cardano so i'll just click on this cardano then i'm going to click on withdraw 
so once click on withdraw it's going to ask you for the address you're just going to paste the person's address then put in the amount you want to withdraw i'll just click 0 0.006 i don't know then i'm going to click on withdraw but right now i don't have any i don't know in my wallet as you can see i don't have any i don't know in my wallet. this is 0, 0, 0, 0, so i can't do that so once you're done you just click on withdrawal once you click on withdrawal it's going to take at least i think 20 or 20 to 30 seconds for the money to leave for the money to leave binance and what it leaves binance at least it's going to take maybe five to ten minutes for it to get to the location you actually placed well it basically depends on the kind of currency you're actually sending if you are sending um, bitcoin it takes longer time for it to get to the person's wallet but if you are sending other currencies like maybe tron maybe usdt maybe bsc so there are many coins out there there are many coins out there with the speed in which they get to the wallet okay so that's it guys on how you can this is just how you can play with your wallet if you want to you can convert your small assets to bnb if you want as you can see it states it stated here convert your small assets to bnb then if you want to transfer this transfer fee is for you to it's for you to send money out of your sports wallet to your futures wallet or your p2p wallet depending on the wallet you want to send to okay if I want to send to my features wallet, I just have to click to this click to then select USD M features. That is the features wallet. So once you click on it, you select the currency, you put in the amount here, then you click on transfer. As you can see, currently I have no balance of USDT, so it's not going to work. Okay, so I'm going to go back. Then this market section is where you're going to see all types of markets. As you can see, there are different types of markets. There are different kind of market markets in BNB, markets in BTC, markets in OS, markets in FAT. They are different kind of markets basically so on mxc one of the markets i actually use in trading is is maybe say btc i trade with btc slash usdt i trade with usdt basically on my mxc account okay so as you can see this is bnb this if i want to change this to as you can see i can buy bs uh, i can buy usdt to trade other coins so yeah on this on binance binance allows you to trade to have binance i think binance is maybe a default currency on is a default value or something but i think yeah no it's not a fair value so if you want to trade you should be able to trade your usdt let me search let me search. okay yes yes you can you can trade usdt for another currency okay i can trade light i can trade usdt for litecoin okay yes so once you click on any of those coins basically you can search for any of the coins there as you can see it's not listed here you have in only bnb btc altcoins you have alt you have, okay altcoins different altcoins you have okay okay i think okay the fights i think the fight currency is okay 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 for these fight coins we have all of them mixed together we have the usdt as you can see yes we have the usdt you can use because usdt is a, is a is a default value okay it's a default currency it doesn't the price of usdt doesn't change that much okay so people prefer to keep their money in usdt when they're actually not trading okay so once you're done with that okay let me say I'm, i want to trade for i want to, I want to you exchange my usdt for uh, for ripple i'll just go ahead and click on this ripple here click on it if you want to click on it people here you're going to see the buy or sell if you want to buy okay let me explain a few things about this the buy when you have okay ripple is your buy then usdt is your sell okay usdt is your sell then ripple is your buy so how does this buy trend works the buy trends works like this it starts from you buy from the lower price to the higher price it means the highest price is at the top the lowest price is from the bottom okay then it's then for the for the sell the lowest price is at the top why the highest price is at the bottom okay so anytime you're trying to to buy a currency we are at the lowest price you can select the lowest price you can go by and select the lowest price depending on the way you want so since i want to buy um, i want to buy ripple i'll just click on buy so once you click on buy it takes you to this trade as you can see this is where all your trade are placed okay it takes you to this trade then from there you can select you can just enter the amount of usdt you want to amount of usdt you want to buy in uh, in ripple okay so once i put in 20 usdt this is the amount of 
this is the amount of ripple i'm going to get okay yeah so that's a few things i'll just explain for this market session is where you can actually see, um, make you do your analysis basically before you place a trade okay so this trade section is where you can actually press you can place any trade here and you can see place any you can you can just after you have made have um done your analysis on this on this market then you can come and trade you can come here and trade okay so that's how it works and for these features um for these features say um, trading features trading is a little bit advanced for those that are actually new to futures trading on futures trading we have different kinds of margin methods we have the cross we have the isolated the, uh, you have the buy you have the sell you have the short you have the long okay you have different kinds of um attributes basically that can help you help you um that can help you imp uh, improve your your decision making for making money on on futures trading basically okay yeah so that's it guys on how to make use of binance and binance is really easy it's not that much okay then if you want to buy if you want to buy bitcoin on p2p network you can come to p2p trading then you can if, if you are right now i don't have any i don't have any so if you want to buy p2p trading you can buy coins you can sell coins if you want to buy if you want to buy you just click on maybe i want to buy i want to buy usdt from this guy i'll just click on buy but right now they're telling me i need to i need to verify my account i can skip this let me see if it's going to work okay okay i don't think it worked i can't i can't i can't i can't i can't buy i can't buy but i have to verify my account before i can buy okay so that's it guys for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel don't forget to also comment if you have any issues concerning binance see you on the video like this